and we had some hail uh, almost that size, especially around Okeechobee County yesterday. Got some reports of that and some pictures in. Not as active this afternoon, and the good news is these showers are quickly scooting in and scooting out quickly again. We had the shower now moving over Wellington, back out towards Haver Hill, and now um, up towards, uh, I'd say, West Palm Beach, down towards Hypoluxo Manalapam. Quickly moving in, some brief gusty winds and heavy downpours here. We head up towards Martin County. Most of the county looks okay. Those showers now gone from uh, Jensen Beach, Rio, and Sewell's Point. <coughs> then we head up towards St. Lucie County. You can start to see nothing there just yet, but a few of these quick developing showers and a few rumbles of thunder just towards the west of Vero. So those headed in towards Vero, out towards the mall there, and we'll be quickly approaching the beaches a little closer towards 545, and a few thunderstorms developing. We'll track those out towards northwestern Okeechobee County. The heat's still with us. Again, it's not going anywhere. 93 current temperature Indian Town. Same temperature Boynton Del Rey down to Boca. Same temperature in Vero Beach. We've got 88 currently in West Palm and out at the airport. So forecast going to keep those scattered, quick moving thunderstorms in the forecast. For the most part, I think the severe weather element to this afternoon and early evening is not going to be what we saw last night or what we'll see tomorrow because these storms are really quickly moving in. But tomorrow we'll talk about why we're anticipating that severe weather. So about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, we'll call it quits, then down to the upper 70s. Still warm, still humid out there. So as we take a look at the tropics again, we're in hurricane season watching a tropical wave. This orange shaded area is the area of development, or at least where it could develop over the next seven days. Now up to a 60% chance over the next seven days. So again, from now to a week from now that we could see some development. And the thing is, yeah, something to watch, but you don't need to worry about it for right now. So that's good news as we run the future track models. Where is it headed? Well, you can see our models are picking up on something spinning right there as it does approach the uh, Lesser Antilles and then curves up towards the north away from South Florida, not on the way to us. So that's the good news, but just a you know proper reminder that we're in hurricane season and just to be prepared for anything out there in the Atlantic because the Atlantic is super warm. So for tonight, showers lingering through 830. Then tomorrow, watch this piece of energy. Here's 1130. Then we go through the early afternoon. We got that daytime heating. Those thunderstorms are going to really explode. Damaging winds, hail are going to be the primary threats and also some tornadoes not out of the question. Then we deal with another one into Sunday. Here's Father's Day, another burst of energy. So we've got a couple of rounds of these strong to severe thunderstorms moving in here across South Florida. So here's a look at the high risk future track again. We go through tomorrow. Here's noontime. We'll start to see a few of these thunderstorms develop and percolating. Then we get closer towards 2 p.m. A little more numerous out there. And then 4 p.m. You can see what we're tracking. This big blow up of showers and storms, gusty winds at times. We get a break as we head through Saturday evening. But then again on Sunday morning, we do have a uh, quick burst of energy moving in as well. Boating forecast looks okay this evening. She's running about a foot tomorrow, two to three feet, but it's going to be those showers and storms in the picture. That's why we're going with the first warning weather day on your Saturday, and it stays rainy and stormy through the rest of the storm.